Today we are working on the 2009 Chevy Impala. It is throwing a code P0449. I know you couldn't read that, but evaporative emission control system vent valve solenoid circuit. From the other YouTube videos that I've watched, that is this solenoid that is located underneath the engine cover. Right hither. So as you can see, we have one harness on the top. Just pop that tab backwards as you lift up. Do not pull on the wires. That can damage the wires. We have this uh, little hose running across here. There's a white tab you press in and then pop it up. I cheated. I already had this off. My camera died, so I'm doing it all again. I'm sorry. This one also has a white tab. You push in and you pull upward. That's how we get that out of the way. Now we just take this 10 millimeter off which is right here. Pull this bad boy out. And we might have to sneak a little flathead underneath there. I am not in my own garage right now. This is a scary place to be. So I don't really know where anything is, but I found something to pry that off with. There's a really gnarly looking O-ring there. So we will replace that with a new part, part number in the description. And uh, look at that. It even looks right. We will screw our 10 millimeter back in. We'll insert the torque specification if I can find it. Otherwise, good and tight. Do not over tighten it. It looks like a little aluminum uh, bolt. Probably like eight Newton meters. Put this hose back on. Looks like I had to press the white thingy. The white lock, lock helped me get that back on. Press this on until it clicks. And uh, we can put our engine cover back on. And our oil fill cap back in. Voila. We will use our handy dandy scanner tool here to clear the fault codes. Clearing them, it gives you a warning to say you should be a professional before clearing them. I will also put the link to this uh, OBD scanner in the description for your convenience. All right, that is cleared. We will start it just to see what happens. For those of you who are regulars to the channel, I have upgraded my audio setup, as you can tell, no matter where I am in this room. You can hear me. Isn't that just incredible? If you want to make your own YouTube videos with this same setup, I got a link in the description for you. Wireless Labs, what an amazing piece of technology. You can hear the power steering pump that I replaced. It was from a junkyard. So far, we have service traction control, which we have a bad ABS sensor again, which I think it's the harness that I, I fixed a while ago. Link in description. No EVAP right now. I'm gonna turn that off before I get sick. So problem one solved. 